are in the wrong time. That's why no breakthrough. Pag-absat, kaya niyo ba man gumapsot na ba? Kaya niyo man lumapsot kayo dito yun? Siguro kanyami, we are no longer on the right time. Awan uras min. Nung nakayo pa lang nag uras na. I'm sorry, but let's go to the reality. Abroad is not forever. Ang mayroon nyo yung suksukat nyo doon, ulitin man na ni Pastor Radage, your salary is not enough na i-compare nyo kadage mapupukaw yung agigigigigyan tayo dito. Ay, nung sumuti ko na ka, nung tukunayo mo na kung pwede nga, gigyan kayo ti Abro doon. Kung kayo abiro mo na rin ti Abro, nga na may maya, I'm sorry. But things are going opening now. Madugaduti malupo ka ng tatak. I'm not saying that you're going to Canada. Kung nungay po ako hindi Canada, di mga ka. But what I'm trying to tell you here is have a breakthrough in a better way. In a better situation. In an accelerating way. You go to Canada, you will not accelerate. I don't mind what you want to tell me, but I'm telling you things here that are reality. Kaya't yung nga lumapsot, iti na-istakan nyo. We're talking with experience. Timing, chance. Chance is opportunity. For us, all people, I don't know what is our chance. What is the chances that we've been na nabati ka na tayo? We are going to keep working for the Lord. Amen? Ito yung nabati at chinpo tayo na nabati ka na lang tayo. Nung na kayong madati oportunidad na, maybe you are stuck there because you are in the wrong timing now and you are in the wrong place. No 38 years old ka that you are not yet married, that is the wrong timing now. And you are exchanging that with the dollar. I am very serious. Katawahan yung nagito yung dar. But when you come to that, when you come to that time, wow. But when you come to that time already, kona yun to ayok by suga yung jin pag pag bagan jin bakut na diyan. Kaya yung kanalo mas kula pa yung mas kula kana yung puto pero ang kanle yung kinai dumi. Because you know what, when you reach 38, you will feel content. You don't need a man. Yes, you will not. You don't need a man. If you will be contented, you don't care if there's a man or no man. You can buy what you want to buy. You can do what you want to do. So why do you need a man? What's wrong with that, Pastora? The wrong is the plan of God is you are going to create a family. You are going to create a generation that will worship your God. That is the real plan. You study the Bible, did you? Okay. Anya pa itik ko ah. Strongholds. Strongholds. Sampai mo maboring. Strongholds in Matthew 12, 29. Kung nanay dyan, get rid of that strongholds. Okay? Buying the man that is in the house. Your house, the house there is your life. What is the stronghold there? There is a strong man there na damang kung control ni tayo, that is your limitation, na isang timang lilimitado ka niya, kaya na nga ikatong dia yung to bind that one. You bind that one, okay? You bind it. And then, isulpok na ito yung check ko na nga, how are you going to get rid of this limitation? You are going to do it in prayer. Nalipatak dia yung position in spiritual warfare, okay? Actually, in 
blood bo kung ni Hemaya kakamsat he fight the, he fight for this limitation and he do it by prayer in the word okay prayer in word the other one is holding the spear the other one is holding the sword okay that's how Nehemiah fight for the limitations in building the the, the Jerusalem wall uh, kakamsat sumakatayo ko mali pa nagkararag tayo na isu ti makatulong nga manggadaon iti strongholds whatever that is strongholds mabalin nga ni asawa ti strongholds <laughs> ang may bangbaga nga you keep your husband <laughs> tamaan man man lang dito yung banda tamaan dito yung banda I'm not saying that you're going to kill your husband yet, but you are going really, really, really to pray and combat that strong man. Tapos ito sa kumapoy na ito ng strong man. So, hindi mga kakalun, hindi pamilya. Kung ayaw ni Amen. Mothers, there's nothing that you can do nga kapipiksaan nga rami doon nyo than to pray. You pray and fight for this strongholds. Okay? Amen. Kung ayaw man. Kung mabalik na da-seminar tayo kung doon tayo asawa ka kapsat, ang minu, dagdalugan na kayo tayo asawa yun at kayo kayo dito ang asawa. Do not be afraid of saying na han ko mga mag-isinsina ti believers. Yes, I'm not saying yung isina yung tayo asawa yun. I'm saying that you get off of your husband. Matayo ka. Ano nga malubusan ha? Na if it needed na idarong mo tayo asawa, idarong mo tayo asawa. Sorry sa mga sa isusunod ni Pastor Rahaan. Dirokan nyo dito sa unti ang plan na dito. Tanong mo minsan, you know what? If the father is abusive, the children will become abusive. And one time, makitang tumot ng tibagim, nga pati si ka abusive ka matunan. Baka si ka pa yung magpatay kinilakay mo. Very serious ka magpastor ay, yes, I'm very serious. In here. Maybe you cannot kill them personally, but your heart will die. And you will become hatred, anger, and everything. Iso ti makimula kanyang. Kapwa na nakaragito yung mga mga. Kapwa na nakararami ko na nagito yung mga tao. Go on your knees and bind that strong man. Ante yung makaya physical ng kayang data, babaon, hindi patuloy na panangikarkararap mo dila. Of course, puro yan yung ayos. Nanyadya ko na na ito yung libro nga, dito na, I know it's Peter or Ephesians, kung na na wife, makita ko man ni Cristo para kayo, tayo di ka balbali mo di asaway. Amen? Amen. Amen. Tigmal na kayo kami ni Jari sa kay kumatahang ng amin kayo at nagubuyo niya sa kasasawa niya. Amen? Ah, sige, sorry, to dismura, tatatatangan, dismura rin kong dijay na nadagsin mo na yung aliyay. I'm telling you this one because it is the declaration of the father of the house that flow to the blessing of the generation. Amen? But nung mayor mo, sa kitang asawa yung napintas ni kasada ng mga bendisyon, kin ka nga mismo, kan ka nagigay na ayun na. And that's the most important thing there. That's why it's so many people are there. It's not the division of the family, but it is for the good of the generation of the family. The blessing, the father's blessing, is very, very important in the family. Amen. All right. So let me end. Let me end. The last word of the Lord Jesus. Kona na dito nga. I tell you, get up. Get up. Okay? Tumagdag ka iti dahita ka limitation mo. I have a word here. Here. Maybe. Okay? Okay? Maybe nagadado ti makikita tayo ng negative na doors. I have just spent three years. Talo nga doors na negative. Ma maybe nga ka't isuday talaga ti makikita ang itibiyag mo. Okay? Nung behind that bad door is a breakthrough. Amen? Behind that door nga na ito, has na kumadijay 
o number one nga disappointment na dismalangan ti biyak mo ti door na kakapsat tayo ka is the higher level kung ayaw ti even mabalin nga pirmi nga maupukuskan the, the devil oppose you the world oppose you the, your flesh oppose you nang tibag pala na dita at da iti at da kador na mag-break through ang dita okay and here pa na lang and behind that breakthrough mga kapsat but isuji ko na tayo nga ang muna iti at da nga limitasyon mo kat da po ta ang muna iti at da nga limitasyon mo at da iso na nga kinkinanayon nga kaduang kung na yung anti amen, amen. Sabay pumatapat siya niyo rin ko'y At da iso na nga kinkinanayon nga kaduang Kat amoy ti orukurayon na lang Ay magbagbaga na kanyang orukurayon na nga get up Get up Tumagdod ka ka na na It's just waiting for you to get up and he wants you to know that he is the powerful door according to john 10 9 i am the door okay let me break it there i am the door this is in sorry that is john 10 9 i am the door if anyone enters by me, Wala na dito, eh. he will be saved, alright, saved, in your opposition, in your dismaya, in your limitation. Wala na may salak at kalita. And I will go, and will go in, and will go out, and will find pastures. Mm -hmm. Mare na yung niya. Mm -hmm. 